the thing when you do it right when you do training why you don't just strap a vest on your dog and say oh it's a service dog and right. you just take him anywhere you know um most dogs are welcome in most places if they're well behaved yeah so they don't have to be a service dog in most places yeah as long um, as you don't come in as a threat absolutely and he never comes in as a threat to anybody so you know yeah the, the payoff for putting the work in is you know you do get to take your dog more places um and they're welcome as you know i got you Welcome back, everybody, to the Bob Carr Show. In the studio today, I got Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim, welcome back. Well, pleasure to be here, brother. Thank you for having me again. How's everything going in your world? Everything's good. Everything's busy. Busy, busy? Busy getting moving into the Christmas holiday and uh, New Year's, yeah. Keeping busy. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So what are you going to show us today in the canine world, Jim? Um, well, today I wanted to talk a little bit about, I've got your dog here, as you know. Um, your dog's been, you guys have been working with me about two years now? About two years. That's about right, since he was a pup. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. And being that he is a golden, I thought that was, I know, I know we're not working with him towards uh, service work, but uh, he is capable of doing a lot of that because he's with me all the time. Um, and then because you follow through with things, take him all the different places he needs to go. Um, we, we are hoping to get out to uh, help some veterans. Um, you know, it, typically it runs between thirty and sixty thousand dollars to train a service dog for somebody who uh, is in need. Mm. So hopefully, uh, eating up some of that cost for them, um, working with some organizations to, uh, to 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 help some vets that might need some mobility assistance. I got you, I got you, because he definitely loves the training you've uh, shown me and you've done, and then we follow through with it, and he loves to go places and he behaves himself. I don't, I don't ever remember taking him to any place that uh, has been an issue any store you know right. and people people just love him because he's got that friendly disposition and that's the thing when you do it right when you do training why you don't just strap a vest on your dog and say oh it's a service dog and right. you just take him anywhere you know um most dogs are welcome in most places if they're well behaved yeah so they don't have to be a service dog in most places yeah as long um, as you don't come in as a threat Absolutely. And he never comes in as a threat to anybody. So, you know, yeah, the, the payoff for putting the work in is, you know, you do get to take your dog more places. Um, and they're welcome, as you know. I got you. So explain to us a little more about the, the training for vets. That's something you always wanted to do? Uh, it is, and I've had the opportunity to work with a few. Um, but, you know, we uh, un unfortunately, a lot of these guys get back from, guys and girls get back from overseas and... Um, whether it's um, struggling with uh, mental illness or PTSD, or if they've been injured over there and need uh, uh, assistance from a dog. Not everybody's a good fit for a service dog. Mm. Um, you have to ask yourself, is this dog going to make my quality of life better? Um, and, and if the, the answer is yes, then you, know, then, then you go for a service dog. Who will fund all the training needed for, for a pet? Uh, well, there are a lot of organizations out there that do that. Or um, I want to correct myself here. Shouldn't be actually not a pet because that's actually a, it's a working it's a, dog. It's a, it's a working okay, dog. Okay, so correct. I'll stand corrected on that. It should be a working dog. But who funds that? Because that's a lot of work. Uh, it, it is. Um, there are organizations that help with that. But a lot of times, unfortunately, it falls on the person that needs the dog. But they're not going to have the funds for that. No. So, and that's so, where. So that's like a catch-22. So if I came back from my Afghanistan and I got some issues and I need a. Uh, uh, service dog, that's going to be hard for me to overcome the, the, the getting all that taken care of, right? So I got my, I got 101 things going on when I come back, right? Absolutely. So then how do guys and gals get that covered? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. And that's why we're trying to do what okay. we can do, which is providing the training at little to no or, or, or no cost. Um, okay. Obviously the cost of the dog and things like that. Um, Hopefully we can rely on organizations because there are some organizations set out to, to, to help with that. Can you get take a dog from the shelter and train? Um, or is that you can, impossible? but that's not ideal for a service animal. You okay. want to know the temperament of the dog. Okay. Um, beforehand. Beforehand. Yeah. Yep. Like this one here. He's got a great temperament. He's just... A lot of energy. A lot of energy. Yeah. Wants to see, say hello to everybody. Yeah. Um, and again, this what we're doing right here is what most people don't take the time to do is just have their dog sit and wait while they have a conversation. You know, yeah, the dog's bouncing all over the yeah. place. 
You know, well, I want my dog to be able to just sit. Well, people walk. see that out of the movies and they think that's all, everything's fine and dandy. Right. So a lot of work goes right. into training the yeah. dog properly. A lot of work and a lot of money, as you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's well worth it. it I agree. A lady agree. asked me the other day about that and she had a, a golden puppy. And I guess it was only eight, 10 weeks old. And she said, well, what do I got to put up with for the next year, two years? I said, well, that's the wrong way of looking at it. You get an investment of your time and work with your dog in the next two years. And two years goes by quick and you have a pet for the next 10, 12 years. It's going to be great. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. But it's that, investment. That, you got to, got to be working the dog. You just don't, you know, like, like you and I, you just don't, you don't train with you for one day a week and then the rest of the week we don't do nothing. Right. No, it's all going, going all the time. Right. And he enjoys that. He likes to work. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of people do get uh, dogs like Goldens or Labs and they figure it's a great family dog. I don't really have to do anything with them. And the dog's a terror. <laughs> the yeah, dog's a terror. Yeah. Um, but you know, what did you do? Uh, you did a six week course and then you had a, uh, we did a, a boot camp and then you do weekly follow ups. Oh yeah. You gotta stay on top of it. And you, you know, yeah. you reap the reward. Yeah. The boot camp was unbelievable well worth the money right on. so if you don't that's something you should be pushing and anybody's watching this really wants to get in with their dogs take up jim on offer one of his boot camps when he, he don't have time to do that all the time but when he does offer it i'll be the first one lining up if i had a new pup right on yeah no. we do two four and six week boot camps depending on you know what we're working through well Usually worth investment well worth investment i'm gonna cut issues. you off i'm gonna cut thank you off that's a well worth investment well, so if you're you, watching Bob, this and you want to get your that. dog trained and get ahead of everything and get a hold of it quick, do the boot camp. Appreciate that. You know, because I was first kind of staying off of it. You're like, well, is this worth investment? Now I look back and say, man, I should have ran towards your weeks in, the, in advance <laughs> of that, getting that done. But Jim, I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you having me, Bob, as always. And this wraps up another episode of the Bob Carr Show. And we'll see you next week on another episode.